But she's safe inside the castle, right? Philia and the others will protect her. And Con Flavia is assembling her best troops as we speak. We'll make it back home in time. I know we will. Home. Say something. Say yes, of course we will. Hmm? I'm sorry, Lissa. What? Hey. Fine. Never mind. Let me know when you get out of your own head for a second. <sighs> Captain. Snap out of it. Hello. That was quite a slap. Huh? What the heck was that for? Oh no, did I do it wrong? Captain Felius said sometimes a good slap will break someone out of their doldrums. Sumia, when you slap someone, you do it with an open palm. You just punched Krom in the face! What? Um, it's the thought that counts? Gods, that seriously hurt! <laughs> What's wrong, my dear prince? Sometimes love hurts. You're lucky to have strong women like these and not just dainty flowers about. In any case, I bring good news. The Feroxy army is finally mobilized. Every last man is itching to fight. I must say, I'm looking forward to savoring a skirmish or two myself. What? You're coming along? Right. Akan must have her fun. I'm even bringing my insignificant other. Um... You're who? Exactly. Basilo. The oaf isn't good for much, but he might stop a few stray arrows. Alright. Krom. Good gods, I've been looking for you everywhere. Hmm? Is something wrong? Hmm. Our scouts have reported back. Dark news, I'm afraid. Ilistal has fallen. What? Right. The Plegians captured your exiles and retreated back across their lines. Grangle has declared she's to be publicly executed within the moon. What? Executed? <gasps> Lissa? Lissa! <sighs> the dastard's not even trying to be subtle anymore. I agree. It's an obvious trap. All right. The Mad King knew our scouts would relay this information back. It's clearly a provocation. A hot brand to the buttocks. We should consider our options carefully before jumping to any. Gods! Shepherds, we march to Plegia! Hold on. Well, that would be one option, yes. But perhaps we've seen enough royalty waltzing into traps for one war already, eh? I don't care if it's a trap, Basilo. He's going to murder my sister! Listen. Peace, Krom. Breathe a moment. No one's suggesting we don't act. We simply are saying that we should act wisely. We'll need guts and wits in equal measure if we're to save your sister. The cons are right. All right. I'll think of something, Krom. I promise. <clears throat> All right, Robin. I leave it to you to formulate our strategy. <sighs> Are you certain you're up to the task, Robin? It won't be easy. You hold the Exalt's life in one hand, and all of ours in the other. Yeah. A responsibility I do not take lightly, but I am equal to the challenge. You've got stones, at least. I like that. Oh, great. No hesitation, no mincing words. She's either a genius or a fool. I suppose we'll find out once we march. Hold on to your tacits, Ulyssians. We've an exile to save. A lot of things just opened up to us. Oh boy, where do we even start? Oh, we got chapter 8 right here if we want to get on with the story. We have 
Paralog 3. Not a really good time to do a paralog. Yeah, we got some shops for us as well, huh? Uh, I guess we should go and grab these real Take quick. These are... Oh, let's get to the convoy. Goddess Icon. Increase luck by two. Pick that up. And second seal. Changes the base class at level 10 for, or any advanced class to a new class. I'm going to want to sell some stuff because you definitely want to buy that. Oh, uh, what can I sell? I can sell... Might have been a mistake for buying this real quick. Oh, jeez. What could I get rid of? How about a ladle? What does this even do? Oh, wait, no, we got bullions. Remember, we got that. Gaius has it, right? Uh, yes. Medium. 5,000 G. Okay, we're rich again. Okay, cool. Uh, for the convoy. Get that second seal. Changing classes. You could actually do that. Your characters are not set in stone for uh, the entire journey on what weapons they're able to use. If you want to change their abilities to something else, you could do so, and it is very much worth your time. I did not change a single character's class during my first playthrough of Fire Emblem Awakening. The only reason I didn't do it is because when you change the class, you change their design a little bit. You change their outfit and uh, weapon stuff. And I don't know, it just bothered me to not have the original outfits for every single character. It was a really stupid reason. I'm changing that this time around because it was a pain in the booty in the later levels when I had the characters all maxed out. I think level 20 is the maximum level for characters in this game, so... Uh, yeah, you're not exactly meant to uh, keep them in the same category throughout the entire game. So, second seal, definitely buy that. Uh, the sidekick restores its allies HP. Should I get this? Uh, why not? Might be useful. I guess we're good for now. Thanks to the shop. She's gone. As for this one. Uh, let's check it out. Wait, what? Oh, it's a challenge! God darn it! Oh, I could exit. Okay, cool. Um, who's even here? Just Risen. Generic Risens. That chest is open. We could fight here for experience, but I don't want to. Yeah, return to the world map. Sorry, don't really want to do that right now. Okay, that was an enemy thing. My bad. Uh, really awkward time for a paralog, but I don't want to do these things in order, so I guess we're going to be doing paralog 3 today. Uh, also, good morning, everybody. It's midnight and beyond, I guess. I declare I'm a fine farm, perhaps only natural for women of my breeding. Of your breeding? What the fuck? She gets strength and luck. Hooray. Hey, Robin. I can't believe I'd see you here. In the barracks. Okay. Support system! Let's go! Crom and Robin and Lissa and Frederick. Let's start with Lissa and Frederick, I guess. Come, Frederick. It's time for your lessons. And don't bother trying to hide this time. You're terrible at it, you know. Ah, huh? oh, there you are. Come on, didn't we have fun last time? Oh. Doing what? Wandering about camp? Bothering the others for no cause? Or do you mean when we laid in a field, aimlessly staring at clouds for hours? Hey! Both! It was amazing, right? Rejuvenating? Life-changing? Well... It was exhausting. In all my years of training in combat, I've never felt so tired. <sighs> a clear indication that you need to relax more. You're too in shape, Frederick. Oh. Did you seriously not enjoy any of it? can't say it was entirely unenjoyable. The time we spent exploring was a new and valuable experience. <laughs> oh goody, I'm so happy to hear that. Ah. If you are happy, then I am happy as well, my lady. Right. Well then, let's get started. Those clouds aren't going to watch themselves. Shall we then? But we lazed about yesterday. I propose an alternate, I suppose an alternating schedule. Even numbered days we train, odd numbered days we... Ahem, <laughs> relax. <laughs> and they're up to level A, which is really, really cool. As for Crom and Robin, we have the opportunity to reach S rank. You can only reach S ranks with a male and female uh, pairing. S rank, 
I guess you could say it stands for sexy times because once you go S with someone, you cannot go S with any other person with that character. So for Robin, if she goes S with Krom, she cannot go S with any other character. Same goes for Krom. So make sure you are certain in who you want uh, to be an S rank with certain characters and whatnot. As for Crumb specifically, if you S rank him with a character right here and now, or just at this point in the story, you miss out on a cutscene later on. I'm probably going to do some editing finagling so we get that cutscene just so I show it off and whatnot. But do I want to do this now? I suppose? Just so I can show both cutscenes, I guess? So, without further ado, if the character you created is the one... If you're certain that you know who you want the character you created to be with, then also make sure of that because this is supposed to be an RPG and it's a game of your choosing and your own experience. So for me, I want my character to be with Krom and I'm okay with that. So if you're okay with pairing them up with someone you have right now, go for it. But if you want to wait for someone else later down the line, then just hold it out for a little longer. For me though, I think my heart is set. Krom, just the man I wanted to see. We need to talk. Robin? Um. It's about the route you drew up for tomorrow's march. I was looking at the map and I noticed... Krom, are you listening to me? Uh, um. uh, of course. Actually, no. I kind of had something to do. Krom? You're acting very strange. Are you hiding something from me? Huh? Hide? You mean hide, hide? Oh gosh, no, uh, nothing at all. Nope. <sighs> then why are you fidgeting like you've got a squirrel in your pantaloons? Hmm. I'm not fidgeting. I'm perfectly relaxed and uh, normal. Hmm. And refusing to meet my eye. Listen, Crom. Didn't you say we were close friends with no secrets between us? Didn't you mean that? Uh, um. Uh, no. I mean yes. I mean. I swear, it's not like that. Um. <sighs> I know you've been avoiding me recently. And I'd like to know why, Krom. I think I deserve an explanation. Please, I can't go on pretending there isn't nothing. Do you dislike my company now? No. D dislike you? Cads, Robin, of course I don't dislike you. Nothing could be further from the truth. Hmm. Then why are you avoiding me? Krom? Right. Still look at me like that. It's just that we've been fighting a lot together. We're always side by side. At first, I thought of you as an ally, then a comrade, and finally a friend. I felt the bonds of trust grow between us stronger and stronger. And then I realized you were more than just a friend. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, I care about you, Robin, as a man, and you as a woman. Crom, we can't possibly... Wait, please! You've made me come this far, and now I'm going to say my piece. But when you were worked up like this, you might say something you regret. I don't care. I've tried to keep this bottled up, and I, I just can't do it anymore. I'm going to tell you how I feel, even if your head explodes in embarrassment. Huh? Okay. Listen to me. All right. Deep breath. Hold and out. Once more. Holding. Holding. And out. Right. I'm set now. Here it goes. Prepare yourself, because I'm going to say it. Then say it already. Listen. Robin, I'm in love with you. Krom? Hmm. I've been from the very first moment I laid eyes on you. I just didn't realize it until the last little while. <sighs> Look, I know this is sudden, and I'm coming on like a wyvern in heat. I'm not trying to force you into a decision, believe me. Whatever your answer, 
I shall abide by it, no matter how painful. And come what may, we'll always be friends. That I promise. Um... This is... I'm sorry, Krom, but this is impossible. The general and his chief tactician? It just... it wouldn't be right. Our first responsibility must be to the soldiers we lead, not to each other. You understand that, don't you? Right. I do. All right. But someday, this war will end. We will emerge victorious and bring peace back to the world. And when that happens, we'll be free to follow our hearts. Hmm? Our hearts? Yeah. Because I love you as well. Really? But that's... But that's... Wonderful! <laughs> this is the best day of my life! Robin, listen to me. You are the wind at my back and the sword at my side. Together, my love, we shall build a peaceful world. Just you and me. Rom and Robin attained support level S. There's no going back. The best day of his life, huh? Your sister just got kidnapped and is about to be executed, but you're about to get laid, old buddy, old boy. Good for you. Okay, I know there's no real, like, the support conversations have no uh, connection to what's going on in the story itself, so that could happen at any point, but still, it's just kind of funny that this happened here and now. So, Crom and Robin haven't quite tied the knot, but they promise to be indebted to each other and have created a bond that will become unbreakable. It's not their time to start a life together, but when the time comes, they're dedicated to make it happen. So, now that that's taken care of, let's begin Paralog 3. Look, Risen! And there's a village just ahead. Come on! Help! Help! Open the gates! The dead walk on Earth. If you have any kindness in you, open the gates! We're from Woodham. Up the road! You know us! Please open the... Gods, no! No! They're here! Hi! Townsfolk of this village are renowned for their hospitality. How could they turn away refugees fearing their lives? Let's worry about saving those lives first. We can ask questions later. This is quite the conundrum. View the map. We got our group here and a bunch of risen soldiers. Haven't fought them in a while. Our objective, however, it's going to be a bit different, I believe. Our units. Uh, oh, we're missing out on a few. I think we're gonna ditch Vake, switch with Pain. Kinda wanna switch out Sully or Stealth or Cordelia. Maybe Gaius. I wanna use him, but I'm just not doing really good with him right now. I know it's just all a matter of me being dumb and whatnot, but. I'll go to Stall and go with Cordelia. Okay, hopefully that's a good decision. Let's go. We're at the enemy. Player phase. Let's go. So what we need to do is get to this village immediately and get them to shut the doors. In that case, I think you could do it with anyone. So, Alyssa pair up with Frederick, as usual. Uh, Cordelia is right over here. How about we get Gaius with Cordelia? Oh, we can do that right here now. Okay, visit. Please, I insist. Shepherds are always welcome here. Please take this with you. Get a blessed bow. And doors are closed. Is that it? I guess so. This is just a recent chapter. I don't think we'll be getting any new party members this time around. Kind of unfortunate, but it's still a parent log, I guess. How about this? Crom is with Robin, but we're gonna go, I guess. 
Sumia Pain Longku Sully. How about Longku with Pain? Sumia with Sully. See where that takes us. It's like Pokemon Coliseum all over again. Cool. Uh, an armored Risen. It's got a Javelin. Might have been better to switch to Longku. Let's see. Okay, at least we dodge. We take any damage. Oh, Longku! In with the counter kill. Not counter kill, but like a double whammy. I don't know what you would call it, but it's thinking awesome. Okay. Oh, we got some allies over here. Okay, that's the objective. We not only need to kill a bunch of dudes, we need to also protect a bunch of uh, weaklings who can't defend themselves. That's great. So I guess we should run over here. ASOP. That's as soon as oh, possible. Uh, you're a flyer, but uh, Samia's out in front right now. Good. Oh, god darn it. I guess we'll do it. Begrudgingly. Do that. Get hurt. Get a lot of sinking damage. My god. And we didn't even finish him off. Oh, uh, we could have Crom finished him off or Robin finished him off, but just want to do Robin instead or do this guy first because he's got more HP. Uh, already the em enemy phase. You always feel like you have just such little to do because of the fact that you pair everyone up, so you just have less turns to attack, but trust me, pairing people up is the better decision because you really seem to need those character buffs with, like, the growing bonds and everything. Oh, that ain't good. Uh, okay, that was a lot of damage. Uh, thank you for dodging. Get rid of that guy so we get some experience all on our own. Never thought I'd see the day. Okay, Frederick, I never have to worry about him because he absolutely destroys everybody. He's not even taking damage. He's so stinking awesome. Uh, stinking love, Frederick. Uh, these guys are moving. Moving in a grooving. Can they heal themselves? No, they just move. They cannot heal. They cannot attack. They just run, run, run. Okay, let's put Cordelia over here. Uh, 22 damage, 10 damage. Really chump change in ball on run, but gotta work with what we got. Okay, e. do that. A little bit of experience. Uh, not quite. Uh, Lanku, okay. Sorry, I don't have a whole lot to talk about right now. I'm just sort of concerned about keeping those villagers alive. Okay, Lanku's being a stinking masochist like he usually is. Very, very good. Uh, huh. I was looking at the clock and like it's almost midnight and like I was trying to take it in the fact that Fire Emblem is good. Not time waster, but like it makes time go by really stinking quickly. I was really sort of concerned about like what I was going to be doing today, but makes time go by because each recording is like an, not an hour, but like 30 to 45 minutes. Of all just the episodes are kind of long, but I wouldn't want to have these chapters be like cut into parts or whatever. I think it's good to just have one chapter per episode, then call it a day. Nothing too cray cray. Uh, let's just have him right here, I guess. I get up. I think if you press uh, L, you can always just automatically jump to any of your available allies. Sumia, you don't really have a whole lot to do, buddy. We just wait here, then grab that item. Snuck in some practice. If anyone needs me, needs it, it's me. Weapon proficiency. Okay, that's cool. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Oh, an arrow. Yeah. Can, didn't stand a chance with an arrow. That's really crummy. I gotta learn. Now that we got that second seal, I should start thinking about who I want to upgrade. I could upgrade characters right now. Some of them are in the level 10, so I should think about who I want to start. Uh, changing uh, classes to. I'm probably going to spend the time between this episode and the next one doing that because don't want to hold off on doing that for too long. Predictable, Predictable indeed. Okay, they're just going to move up a little bit. I don't know where you guys are going, but whatever. Uh, we'll have Robin take care of this guy. It's We're right. about done with this. This area doesn't have a boss, which is nice. Why are they going to get rid of him? Level up though, which is nice. 
place doesn't have a ball, so we just need to get rid of all the enemies. Thunder broke. No, we have another one. Doesn't matter. Uh, can't reach anyone. No, just wait here, I guess, in the sparkly workly. I've noticed you've been working hard, trying to fulfill some lifelong dream. I want to be a proper lady like my sister, but don't tell anyone I said that. Scandal of the century right there. Their relationship improved. How wonderful. Uh, also, working hard. Like, Liz has not done anything recently because I, I just never take the time to heal anyone. I guess it's more so my fault, but whatever. Hank, get rid of this guy. Beast pose! I still love her beast pose. I know it's just like her sticking her butt in the air, but singing funny and cool looking. She makes it look epic, though. Okay, level up for pain. I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name, but like, she brings the pain. So, what else would you want to call her? Uh, Cordelia. Can you want Oh, you could. Oh, but it's like, doubt. This will only happen if he misses. Switch to Gaius. Not that great either. And this guy. I think we should focus on this guy, actually, because he's going to go for. Uh, let's separate. I just want to make sure. Unfortunately, that loses out on an attack. I just want to make sure they didn't get to the guys. Kind of crummy to use Cordelia as a meat shield, but I felt like that was our best bet. Because I feel like if we didn't do that, they were going to go for uh, the villager right there. Okay, as long as we protect everyone, that's what matters most. It's good training, I guess, trying to teach me about defense. Which I'm still not crazy about, but it's something I gotta learn. Okay, he uses a bow. Does jump change damage. Get that. And up next... Allies just keep on running. Uh, we could heal them, I guess, but the question is, do we want to? For the sake of just giving Lissa experience. Uh, we got her a new thingy. We haven't been using- Where are you running to? Look at all these thinking enemies! Why are you running, like, right into the line of fire? I don't understand any of you. I just realized how dumb all of you are. Uh, Frederick actually can't one-hit KO a guy? Oh no. Uh, Frederick, go right here, I guess. Try and get rid of him. Pick a god and pray? Uh, not quite. Okay, I think guys could at least finish him off. No, he can't. That's complete booty. Uh, oh, there is a boss. Okay. If we get rid of him, will they leave? I don't think so, because they're all monsters, so they're just going to keep attacking until they're dead. Uh, we'll see what this does. Five damage. Nothing special. Uh, we have just pain left. Uh, he can't move all that much, so we'll just walk on over here. There. Yeah, what were you even trying to accomplish, guys? A critical! Cool! So, Paralog 3, what's the reward for, okay, what were you trying to accomplish? I don't understand any of you idiots. You don't get a party member for this, so I don't really care if I fail this Paralog. But seriously, you guys are dumb. I don't blame myself for this failure, it was you guys. Just, and this guy's just gonna move even further, even closer. Yeah, I just want to go to the enemies, cause I like getting murdered. Seriously, you got this whole open space where I cleared out for you. Why do you not do that? Oh God, this guy's gonna die too. Oh, uh, hate everyone, and everything. Let's go for him. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Maybe I'll lose this one. Okay, Krom, get a critical, because you're awesome. I'm like all of these villagers who are stupid. Maybe you do get a secret party member, like, oh, hey, we found a guy in our village who's strong, but we'll only give it to you if you'll let any of us die, because we're dumb. Poopy. Uh, switch to Lanku. Uh, we'll risk it, I guess. 
Raw, hear me roar. I'm so angry and evil. Come on, Lanku, if we need any time for a critical, now's the time. Of course you don't get it. Lanku's gonna die now, unless he dodges. Next attack. Better, but not the best. Gaius and Frederick can't move that much. Switch to Lissa. No, Lissa's slow. Or do the horses go slower in the woods? So we'll try Lissa. And we'll see what that. Nope. Final villager's dead unless you dodge. Nope. You're stupid. Goodbye. Game over? Nope. Okay. Sure. Whatever. All of them died. I'll check to see what the reward is. If it's a secret party member that I haven't heard of this entire time, that'd be impressive, but I don't think it is. Lanku's dead. Oh boy. What do we got? Uh, we'll get rid of this guy with who, though? Alyssa, get some experience because you haven't gotten in like a million stinking years. Might be worth doing the optional missions just with Lissa over and over so we could get her a bunch of levels. Because if you want to change her from a healer to something else that can actually do damage, that is kind of required. She needs to get to at least level 10 first. Robin, finish this guy off. Okay, very nice. I was hoping they both get level ups. That's strategy, and that's what I call progress. Thankfully, it didn't ruin my uh, mojo that I had going on right there. Pain. Finish off this guy. Booty. Let's do this. Hungra. Yeah, this is the sign that I should end the recording session. Yeah, we had a good run. I should probably call it a day, though. Kind of wanted to get to chapter 10, though, just because, I don't know, just doing 10 chapters at least per session, but whatever. And this. Play your face. Oh, we gotta walk to you. Of course we do. Not making it easy for me, but whatever. We are done. My strength is yours. Not done yet. Thanks. And one more level up for Crom for good measure. Beep, 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 beep. I can feel a huge difference. Robin and Crom MVPs, because that's all they ever do. I failed them. I let them die. My lord. You gave them all you had. That is no failure. They are just idiots. And we can still give them peace. They deserve a proper burial. Gods! They deserve to live, Frederick! Oh, darn it all! Let's check what the reward is. I know I messed up here. I guess this could be just my equivalent exchange for playing on filthy casual mode. It's not my fault they died. They're stinking idiots. They ran into the line of fire. They could have stayed put. Uh, let's check this. Paralog 3. What is the reward? Wow, the first thing I look up is like, I wasn't expecting them to rush head on into the head model enemies. To the hard model enemies. Uh, hard mode enemies, whatever. Remember correctly, the rewards are a serif robe, a log, and a ladle. So it's your choice if you want some easy joke weapons or not. That's it. I should deserve a medal of honor if I manage to save their butts from running straight into the Pegasus Knight range. Yeah, looking back on it, it's not really worth it. Depending on the difficulty you are playing on, it can be even more bothersome. And I kept resetting on lunatic mode a few months back. <laughs> Did the exact same thing on hard mode. I wanted to get all three of them because I thought I would get something awesome. When I finally did it and got the rewards, I was like, who are you guys? I just wasted an hour trying to save your stupid AI booties. I just can't figure out why the heck their programs are running the bottom left corner at all costs, even if there's still enemies there. These guys are too dumb to live, but I wasted but I wasted rescue staff charges on them. I suppose if you really wanted that Seraph robe, which only gives plus 5 HP instead of plus 7, yeah, well, at least the village that turned them away gives you a blessed bow. They got that anyway, so that's fine. Oh god, I hate this chapter. Got my first game over a Pegasus Knight, got the jump on an injured Krom so much for casual mode and getting no game overs. Uh, F those stupid villagers, I finally managed to get baked to level 7. Really, talking with them should at least make them stop doing the lemming thing. 
I still got a Seraph Robe with one dead, if that helps. I restarted a good four times on this mission before I gave up, and I was convinced I'd get something amazing. Then they walked right into the Pegasus Knights, and I couldn't reach, and I was like, if they're that stupid, they deserve it. I didn't miss out on much here. I thought I missed a character or something. So the consensus is they are incredibly stupid and the reward isn't worth it. As long as it's not a character, I do not care. Sorry if that sounds kind of uh, harsh, but whatever. We just had fun in a very dorky and stupid chapter. And yeah. Don't really have a good moral to end off on this because I'm kind of playing the villain here. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we'll hopefully have a different outcome with uh, the rescue of our sister than the outcome of this place right here. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.